Oh, Canada, where authorities are authoring authoritarianism and offering total totalitarianism under the guise of heritage and heroism. It's communism being sold and controlled by the great dictator. Yes, the great debate of Canada being a free speech Western country is now over as Bill C-11 takes grip over all Canadians' lips lacking courage. As you all allowed it to happen by your blind obedience and hyperconformity, as too few of you had any courage to speak freely for your free speech. It's now come to an end. <laughs> You got your social media validation. You're a nation of sheep. Now unfriend me, because courageous lions don't lie with you weak sheep. Roar! Bah! Yeah! There's no more Canadian free speech. It's been impeached, but it's not a major change to the government that said we will only edit out one letter, R. From our free speech to become fee speech, as we raise the rent and taxes on free speech to fee speech, which went from fee to free, Free press to fee press, as anyone anti our pirateers, profiteering, we've come to our freedom and our freedom of speech to teach and preach and reach for more Canadian content. The Trudeau government is mimicking their North Korean idols with ideals that steal and feel a lot more like East Berlin in the 1940s, using socialism and patriotism to push more woke propaganda to control the internet. Yes, yes, that's the left and right fight, which is now owned by a digital AI boss. To tire lock on your Wi-Fi, as the mode of your modem might as well go back to pigeon carriers, then internet providers. Are we being played as pigeon stools? Fools! As the new king. Da -da 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 -da! They're presenting the new king, Trudeau! As he edges us all closer to total tyranny in the click of a button. As he can freeze your bank accounts, discredit your social credit score, make you poor, take away your home, your children, your cats, your dogs, and more! And can now effectively shadow ban you who can't stand him as a way to block his bad press. I must confess, this is more of a power play I would have seen by Hitler than a diplomatic strategy. You all don't like me and you keep making fun of me and making me look like a dumb cat in more cat videos. Meow, meow. Enough of this meow mix. Now I nix your Netflix and make you all kowtow to the new bash, boom, pow. Edit, edit, edit. Out all who discredit me. And then my image will be cast free and squeaky clean. And I'll not look like Hitler mean, but more protein. Team Green, promoting the perfect Canadian dream. Yes, it's all about the image of Canada, not the self-serving Prime Minister agenda of total domination to the creation of totalitarian nations. This is not about getting or netting more Netflix, more quality Canadian films, because even Telefilm knows there are no quality Canadian films. How can a $5 million budget of loonies, or double it, to $10 million in Toonies, even compared to $460 million of Avatar's All-American Studio Pictures. Sure, you can try and credit James Cameron as Canadian and qualified all you want, but his success came when he sold out to other nations, but the Canadian content creations, because simply this, Nobody cares! Another Canadiana drama? Not even Canadians! As Trudeau trudges us closer to total totalitarianism under the guise of heroism, heralded as heritage. Yes, the world, and by that I mean has been locked off, blocked off, lopped off, locked down from the corners of the Canadian internet. We'll be letting showstoppers like Rick Mercer, eh? And the Royal Canadian Air Force, eh? And the Red Green Show, eh? Be shown online anytime if you have a Canadian VPN. And when I say these are showstoppers, I mean that they stop the show and we all go, please, stop. Stop showing this archaic crap. It's stereotyping Canada. And it isn't all stereotyping kind of offensive and culturally insensitive as it doesn't include all culture promotion over another to be considered inappropriate or appropriation and it defines the nation and lines between patriotism and racism and culture identity and culture diversity? Well, <laughs> new doot about it, eh? It's a boot Canadian heritage, eh? And prudely a boot Canadian, eh? The CRTC, Canadian Radio, Television, and Telecommunications, also stands for Control Rules Trudeau Created, has a latest plan to modernize Canada's broadcasting system, is right out of the 1984 playbook, demanding all broadcasts on the internet pass guidelines to be monitored and inclusive. All online activity must be in English and in French and in Indigenous languages, or it won't pass the CRTC guidelines. However, it's an impossible measure to fill the inclusion order as there are more than 70 distinct Indigenous languages currently spoken by First Nations people. And for all the audience outside of Canada, nobody cares about Canadian culture. So if you're making your living online, you can now join the breadline. Because your toast is French. French toast and banned for not offering enough bannock.
Eh? Hey, how racist is that, eh? While colonial Canada is toasting the new king for a culturally uninclusive culture, whitewashing out all of Canadians' internet feed in and out. That sounds more like the Third or Fourth Reich to me, cancelling other cultures in favour for the fervour of one over the other? As some bureaucrat gets to judge of what is what and who is culturally Canadian? And the rest are what? Served and covered in maple syrup and fed to the bears and trolls of Canadian dark internet? Actually, this just in, if they're not served maple syrup, they will be instead served by the Canadian Mounties. Whoa. In the age of inclusivity, this is positively fascism at its finest. Fascism is back in fashion, I guess, as the ration of chocolate will be up this week to 25 grams, up from last week's 30 gram ration. One can unsafely assume that inclusion also means we must include these fascist Nazis and socialists into the leadership roles because otherwise we would be a bunch of misogynistic racist bigots who are probably not up to date. You disgusting disgruntled truckers. Duh. We proudly, our Canadians are anti-truckers and we do as we are told. We hold the flag, we wave the banner, we raise one arm in salute of our leader and we live in fear, eking out a meager life here to cheer for more cowbell at the Crowley Stampede and feed our Canadian vegan bacon smothered in new maple syrup made with more sustainable high fructose corn syrup and cheer on the Ottawa Senators, eh? And I don't mean the hockey team because carrying a hockey stick in public is now illegal. But yes, more equal people to include as they dilute the population by welcoming half a million new immigrants a year, none of which or whom are vaccinated or verified to not be ISIS. But yes, make the internet more Canadian while following the rules and regulations of the WEF to whatever new world orders come from head chef Klaus Schwab and Bob and we to be more like Biden's America while nailing in the freedom convoy coffin to be... <coughs> coughing like a Wuhan communist, while more rules crowd around our digital borders and keystrokes, to be sure is to be more like North Korea. For sure. Yes, we are proudly Canadian, not Castro-Cuban, and the true North strong holds back the free, and edits out the free speech with our saying this is our version of free speech. We call it fee speech. So pay the fine or be blackballed online. Blackballed? That's a racist term. So enjoy the shadow ban in the dark web where no one knows you exist. But try to exit the shadow ban or the dark web where those aren't yet racist canceled terms, but blackballed and blacklisted are. Because once we blackball and blacklist you, we then make those words illegal. So you can never get off the illegal lists because you won't and don't exist. That's Canada. Happy trails and hail Trudeau today, which is every day. If you don't want to join the red and white army, well, that sounds a bit racist for sure. We can assure you every child matters. So long as we don't actually expect the government or the Catholic Church of rapists and children kidnapping murderers to do anything about it. Whoa, what the TF? We did plenty. We let people place old shoes on the art gallery steps and we rep supporting by sporting orange t-shirts. But we are now too busy wearing Ukrainian colors to care about your little Canadian mass graves. Oh, Canada! Our home and native land. The true North Korea strong-armed fee.